boys and girls. Today we are going to continue our Invasion Games unit, um, focusing on soccer. Um, we are going to continue our dribbling as well. Um, today we're going to dribble in between cones, so it is going to be a bit harder. What you'll need is a soccer ball or a ball of some sort, like a net ball from the previous lesson, even a tennis ball. But remember, tennis balls will be a little bit harder. You also need some markers this time, a few more markers, sorry. So one, two, three, four, five markers. If you don't have cones or markers like these, just use bottles or even scrunch up pieces of paper, put them on the ground as little markers. Um, when we put our markers out, we're going to spread them out about one large step or even two smaller steps if it's for you um, apart. So I'll show you right now. So here's one. I'm going to take a big step, another one down, one more big step, another one down, another big step, put one down, and last one just like that. So they're spread out so you can easily weave between the cones. Now before we use the soccer ball, we're gonna practice just running through the cones to get used to the weaving. So for example, we're just gonna run nice and easy through the cones, get to the other end, and start again, back through the cones. Okay, once you've done it once, let's speed it up, go a little bit quicker. Turn around, a little bit quicker again. Just like that. Why don't you practice that five times for me? Once you've done that five times, you can have a go at using the soccer ball. Now, when we're using the soccer ball, you can use both sides of your feet when we're weaving. Try and use the inside and the outside of your foot. I'm gonna mainly use my dominant foot because I feel a bit better with that. But it's okay to use both feet. It'll be easier with both feet. As you see, I will use both feet. Okay, here we go. What we're going to do is weave in between the cones, just like before, but we're going to use the soccer ball. Don't kick it too big. Keep the ball close to you, so it's little kicks. Um, once we get to the other end, we're going to stop, turn around, and start again. Okay, try and keep your eye on the ball. Sort of look up at the next cone to see where you're going. Um, here we go. So nice little kicks. Nice little kicks. And just like that. Get to this end, stop, start again. Kicking in. Little kicks in between the cones and stopping just like that. All right, I want you to practice that 10 times, please. Up and back. Once you've done it 10 times and you feel pretty confident with that, you can have a go at practicing it just with your right foot or say your dominant foot, so your left or just right. So, for example, I'm gonna just use my right foot this time. Just tapping one foot. Make sure you keep close to that ball. Do not kick it too hard. You don't want to lose control of that ball. One more back. Whoop, use my left foot. That's okay though. Just like that. So remember, it is okay to use both feet because in soccer you're going to use both feet anyway. Um, it's better to use both feet than lose control of the ball. Um, I want you to practice 10 of each. So starting off 10 with both feet. If that becomes really easy, use one foot. If that's easy, use your non-dominant foot. If it's still a bit hard to use two feet, just keep practicing that because in a soccer match you can use both feet anyway. Alright, have fun guys and stay tuned for the challenge.